Well, here we now come to chapter 21 of Revelation. And, and it's as if after wading our way through, uh, through really the past many chapters, which have been um, filled with, with perhaps sometimes confusing imagery, uh, graphic pictures, maybe even some troubling things, things that, that are hard to understand despite the fact that when properly understood are actually good news. It, still, when reading, some of these bits of Revelation can, can be confusing to us. We come to chapter 21 in which I think we find one of the most beautiful, beautiful pictures in the Bible. It is the great Christian hope, the hope of new creation. The, the Bible begins with these words, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And here, near the end of the Bible, we find these words. John, the author of Revelation says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. You see, history is headed toward a time when God renews, restores, makes new the entire creation. This is such good news. And, and what is so striking about this, this passage of Scripture is one fact. One fact. And, and it's this, that, that what John sees is the new Jerusalem, the city of God, coming down from heaven. And he tells us it's prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. There's this beautiful imagery of the love between a husband and a wife. And, and what we're told next is, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people. Because Jerusalem, of course, was that historic city in which the temple of God dwelt, in which the very presence of God dwelt. And so what we find here, the characteristic thing of the new creation at the end of the Bible is that the very dwelling of God is now among people. Heaven, so to speak, which is where God dwells, comes upon earth. And that's the, that's the characteristic uh, feature of the new creation, that God dwells among his people now. And this is what that means. What this means is that he that is God will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Is this not the deepest desire of our hearts? I mean, think about this. What do you long for more than anything? If you could, if you could describe an ideal world, what would it be? And even if for you, God doesn't make his way into your description of an ideal world, the type of world that you describe, which I imagine would be one in which there is no death, there is no mourning, there is no crying, there is no pain. Think about this. This is a world in which everything that has ever or could ever make you sad does not exist. This is a world that is only possible by the very presence of God. This is the world that reflects God's heart, His vision for His good creation. And this is a world in which He invites all of us. A world that we all can put our hope in if we fix our eyes on the Lamb, the faithful witness, Jesus. It's this incredibly beautiful vision, and this does, this does two things for us. One, if this is where history is headed for those whose names are found written in the book of life, for those who have encountered the grace of God in Christ, then it, this means two things. One, it means that we can have hope for the future. Because whatever happens, a future with God, and therefore without death or mourning or crying or pain, awaits us. 
that's possible, which means we can have hope in the future. But because we can have hope in the future, it also means that we can have purpose in the present. It means that whatever we are going through, that we can have the courage to in some way live that future reality now. And it doesn't mean we don't mourn when sad or bad things happen, but it does mean that that we mourn differently. We mourn not as those who are without hope, but as those who are animated by hope. This is such a beautiful picture and it's such good news and at the center of it is the, the very presence of the God who created all things, who sustains all things, who redeems all things through His Son Jesus and one day will renew all things. Revelation 21.